What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Let's jump right into this video. This video, man, I want to go over some rebounding tips with y'all. How to rebound better with archetypes that aren't, that don't have rebounding in them. Or just rebound better for any archetype. All right, as y'all guys know, I'm a pure athletic finisher. I'm 6'11", so I'm undersized pretty much every time I'm at the 3. But I'm never out-rebounded. And first, I'm just going to tell you why, how my bill helps me rebound, not how I, you know, not the things that I do to help me rebound. All right, so I have an 82 vertical. So whenever I jump, whenever I'm in good position, and it's just me and a, my defender or whatever in my area, I have a high chance of getting the ball or getting to the ball before he does because I have an 82 vertical and my wingspan is maxed. But... How do I get position on him? Uh, another thing, I'm faster than every big I come across. There's no big. I, I haven't run into a big that's faster than me unless he's just terribly undersized. So I can get to the ball and get in position before anybody else can. It's not about your rebounding stats. It's not about your height. Rebound has a lot to do with momentum. So a guy who's fast as me, when I run towards the ball, my momentum carries me into good rebounding animations, and I'm able to get the ball and get to the ball before any other uh, big can. So just think about that. If I miss, well, not if I miss, but if my, one of my teammates miss and the ball bounces towards the three-point line, <clears throat> excuse me, a 7-3 glass is not going to get there before me, even no matter what position I'm in. I can just run and go get the ball. Well, check out that missed layup right there, y'all. I just had to show y'all that because y'all always ask me, do I miss layups sometimes around the rim? That's one of those rare cases. It's very rare now. It used to be kind of unbearable in the past, but lately I've just been I, – I can't complain about how, how my Bill's been playing. He's been playing out of his damn mind, so I can't even say anything about that. And this is a little bit of some old gameplay, so – Whenever you, like the newer the videos, the more like the updated gameplay you will see, the more you know how the improvement you will see with him. So just keep watching the videos and you'll see him improve. But back to the rebounding. But yeah, like I was saying, momentum is everything in 2K. Not just with rebound, it's just everything. Like the more momentum you gain, and momentum comes with speed. The more, the faster you are. The more momentum you have when you're going up for stuff like rebounds and stuff like that and dribble moves and whatever. But with rebounding, it really just helps a lot when you're smaller and you're going up against guys who are like can push you out of the way out of the box out and everything. But another thing, you want to always box out though. Just because you're small is because you assume we're going to get pushed. You have to attempt to box out, man. You're not always going to get the box out. You know, sometimes you're going to get pushed out of the way. Always get the box out. And when you're uh, a guy like me, archetype like me, like a archetype with no rebounding in a, in a uh, archetype, don't try to do those, like, moves, like, you know, swim or break moves or anything like that. Don't even try to go look those up and try to try those because you're not going to get those animations with the type of archetype that you have. But if you have a glass, I don't even recommend them on, like, having, like, a glass cannon because I don't want you to be reliant on that. Those, that's the animation I don't ever be relying on animations in 2K. That's why when uh, people try to build, get my build, the pure athletic, I don't want you to rely on contact dunks, man. I want you to learn how to score without having to get those because like, you can't rely on anything that the game does for you. I'm not saying that the game like just makes, like, you have to get in a good position to get contact dunks. You have to be smart and know when to go up. But that's still the animation. It's something that the game is programmed to do, and it does it for you. So don't. And it's not going to give you that every time. That's not 100%. I always preach 100%. That's why I have the little 100% tattoo on my stomach, man. Right? I'm always 100%. Everything, I give 100% in every game. I take 100% shots. I play 100% defense, meaning I don't gamble on steals and weird blocks and stuff like that. I don't take dumb shots on offense. I'm always 100%. When I'm going for rebounds, I don't try to be 
be fancy and you know just spam triangle to get those high high uh, altitude rebounds. I just try to go get the rebound. So yeah, man. Don't rely on the the swim and break moves. Just keep boxing out. And this is a, a very decent glass screen I'm out rebounding right here. I'm getting like offensive boards. And look how I get to the ball. Even when I'm blinking red, I can get to the ball before he can because I'm so much faster. That speed is everything. He's seven three. I'm six eleven. But just because I'm fast, I can get to the ball before him. I'm boxing him out, getting the board. The thing about the box out is. You don't want to box them out too long. Don't box them out too early. Always box out, but don't ever do it too early, man. Because if you do it too early, then they're going to eventually break away from you and push you out of the way. You're going to be looking stupid when the ball gets to bouncing towards your way. Don't do not do it too early. You have to do it like right at the point where the ball is about to hit the rim. That's how you box them out. Don't box them out when the player is like in the middle of shooting the, the ball. No. When, once they, the ball is out of their hand, and it's getting towards that rim, that's when you box out. Because you're going to always be undersized and, you know, you're not going to have... My, my rebound is like a 72 box out. It's like a... Uh, it's a 72 box out and like a 74 on offensive rebounds, like a 75-ish on defensive rebounding. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very outmatched you know, at most rebounding cases. But because I know how to box out, I know when to box out, I get the majority of my rebounds. One more thing about box out, though. See, look how quick I box out. You see, yeah, right when it hit the rim, that's when I box out. But when you're facing glass fanners and they somehow get their badge, my advice to y'all is to not let them get their badge. But if they somehow get their badge, don't box them out. If you box a glass man out with his badge on, he will push you out of the way. How you get rebounds on the glass when he has his badge on, you just you you um, be almost out of bounds when you're down there in the paint just try to be right on the out of bounds line so you can have that front position on them and try to like maneuver them out of the way if you get what i'm saying i uh, should have had an example in here i don't know it may be one here because I'm, I'm i'm commentating over this a little bit late i made this video like two or three days three days ago so I, i'm kind of forgetting like what all i put in there but you may see a, a example like that but i know in my last video where I, uh Posted a video about me playing against that glass man that was talking trash. I had an example of him uh, shoving me out the way on the box out because I boxed him out with his his badge on. So you can you guys can refer to that video if you need an example of seeing that. But man, the reason why I'm always shitting on glass man is not like shitting on like you know, uh, you know shitting on is what I say when I'm out playing a person, but not I'm saying shitting on as in talking crap about him. You know, always talking negative towards him because. I thought it was stupid how hyped they was in the beginning of the game when it, well, before the game came out because their badge was <laughs> that they got to see where the ball was going before it missed. And I thought that was so dumb and so, yeah, just so dumb because what if you can't get to that spot? You're not gonna, always going to be able to get to the spot the ball is bouncing towards. <laughs> so that's just was stupid to me. Like if the ball is bouncing towards the right and he's always on the left, or he's boxed out. He's not going to be able to get to the ball. So I really thought that was stupid because most glass ones are 7-3 with no lateral equipment, no speed, so they wouldn't be able to get to the ball anyway. But another tip before this video ends is Letterman jackets make you a little bit bigger, so wear them if you're undersized. I don't wear them all the time because I can rebound pretty good without them, but that's all you guys. I'll see y'all next time.